What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today we're going to go over some of the things you can do if you're locked out of your iOS device. Now before we start, there are some things you should know, although this will get your device working again, it will wipe your device, meaning that the only way you'll get your data and content back is if you've previously created an iTunes or iCloud backup. Now in addition, you should also know that we do suggest trying out some common passcodes. Maybe you've set it as a significant date or some common number that you've used. Just go ahead and check out this guide for some of the most commonly used pins. For the first method, we're going to be using iTunes. For this to work, you should not have enabled Find My iPhone. So if you use this feature, then you can't use this method. Also, you should have previously synced your device with iTunes. The reason for this is when you connect iTunes to a computer, it commonly asks you to unlock the device and accept that you trust this computer. Now, if you can't unlock your device, then you won't be able to trust the computer, meaning that it's pretty much useless, so skip this method. But if you've synced your device with iTunes and you don't use Find My iPhone, then let's proceed. So my device is locked, I'm going to go ahead and just connect it once it connects and I can access it on iTunes, we'll show you what to do from there. So the first thing we're going to do is connect our device to our computer, open iTunes, and then wait for iTunes to finish the syncing and backing up process. Once iTunes is done syncing and backing it up, which is automatically done since I have it checked in iTunes. As you can see right here, I'm gonna select the restore iPhone option. Now the reason why I'm not showing you my device information is because I don't want you to see my phone number and, well, my device information, but all I'm cutting off is my serial number and my phone number. So from right here, you're gonna select restore iPhone and then you'll have to make sure that you wanna restore it. Now the reason for disabling Find My iPhone is that when you click restore it'll ask you to disable it so that's why now all we're gonna do is I'm not gonna do a backup I'm gonna say don't back up and I'm just gonna go ahead and restore to factory settings now in doing so it's gonna revert my device back to well factory settings like a new iPhone which then I can set up and restore using a backup now I'm not gonna click restore because I've done it a few times making this guide but from here you're just going to click restore and it's going to download the software on iTunes which should take maybe no more than 10 minutes to do and once that's done it'll restart your phone and you'll be ready to get back into it for the next method we're going to be using iCloud so you must have had used iCloud on the device and be signed into it as well as have find my iPhone enabled now on either another device or on the iCloud website we're going to be using the find my iPhone app to erase this device so let's just show you how to do that on iCloud.com just sign in using your Apple ID once you're signed in go to find iPhone it may take a few moments to load the page as it's located my device you're gonna click all devices once it does if it doesn't automatically open up to your device so from here I'm gonna select my iPhone now in doing so, you notice the option right here to erase iPhone. So I'm going to click on that. All my content settings will be erased. So I'm not going to do it again because I don't want to wipe my device, but I'm going to click, theoretically I would click erase and everything would be off the phone, making it brand new where I can sign in and restore it from a backup if I need to. If not, you will be able to set it up as a new device. So if you've never used iCloud and you've never synced your device with iTunes, iTunes. If you've never used iCloud and you've never synced your device with iTunes, there's one last method we'll cover, which is using recovery mode. Now, to enter recovery mode, have your device connected, have iTunes open, and simultaneously hold down the wake slash lock and home button. We're going to keep that down until you see the recovery mode screen. Now, it's not the Apple logo screen, it's the recovery mode screen, which should show the iTunes icon with a USB cord attempting to connect to it. So there it goes. Now once that's successfully achieved, let's show you what's going to happen in iTunes. So once you're in recovery mode on your device, you can go ahead and let go of those two buttons and you should see this pop up within iTunes that explains that there's an issue with your phone and it needs to be updated or restored. Now we're not going to update because as it says right here, updating your phone 
preserves the settings and content, meaning that it won't reset the passcode, thus you won't be able to get back in your device. So we're going to restore, meaning that it's going to go back to its factory settings. Now you'll need to confirm, you'll want to restore and update, which I'm not going to do again because I don't want to restore for the third time today. But once you hit restore and update, your device will take you back to the initial setup after it restarts, meaning that you can set up a new passcode, hopefully one that you don't forget. Once your device is restored, you can go through the initial setup, which will provide you with a screen or page that allows you to restore from an iCloud or iTunes backup. For help on either of those two things, you can check out this guide over at GadgetHacks.com. I also suggest checking out this guide as we provide some preventative measures you should take once your device is restored that will help you prevent yourself from ever getting locked out again. Some of those even involve some jailbreak tweaks if you are jailbroken. So for more information, check out this guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome, very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.